See if we can do it. <laughs> Mama brain's gone now, what? Yeah. Now Pete is our CEO here at start.ca and he has been, ha bleh, try that, I didn't like that one. I missed the introduction part. Okay. Wi-Fi issues. Welcome to another episode of Start Talk. I'm your host, Sarah Imrie, joined once again by CEO of Start.ca, Peter Rocca. Thanks for joining us again Thanks, today. Sarah. We've uh, spoken a lot in past videos about Wi-Fi connectivity, people having issues with connecting to different parts of the home. And you've brought something today that we're going to talk about mesh routers that are hopefully going to solve some of those problems. Yeah. Now, before we dive too deep, though... Let's bring it back to the basics. Most people would have in their home right now a router and a modem. Yep. What's the difference? What's sure. a router, what's a modem? So the modem is the piece that takes the line coming into your home. So either your fiber line or your cable coax line or your telephone line uh, and takes those signals from outside and brings them into your house. And then the router is the piece that takes uh, that connectivity to the internet and just, uh, delivers Wi-Fi within your home. Right, so right now you probably recognize something more along the lines of uh, a router that would look like this. Yep. Um, but we have some new products, mesh routers we mm -hmm. mentioned. What is a mesh router and why would that uh, be something we'd want to look into? Well, a mesh router kind of takes the functionality that you would have in a standalone router uh, and then allows you to put expansion nodes uh, throughout your home to kind of uh, get that signal uh, into the, the cricks and corners of your home that you might not have coverage on. Um, yeah, so it's a, a base uh, that composed of what's called a base station, or in the yeah. in this kind of product here that we're showing today. Let's um, take a look here. Yeah, it's uh, what they call is this queen. So these kind of uh, devices would be equivalent, and you can actually have just this on its own, which would replace this this router. Um, and the antennas are inside instead of the outside. A little less in the way. <laughs> a little less in the way, yeah. And, and so it is aesthetically pleasing. You know, some people, we've talked in the past about putting your Wi-Fi router kind of in the center of your home to get the best coverage. Uh, so some people have those, uh, you know, on their counters, the kitchen counters. Um, and other people sacrifice that connectivity for aesthetics. So they'll put something like that in their basement, in their furnace room where nobody looks at it. <laughs> um, yeah, so this kind of, you know, if you, if you do have something on your kitchen counter, you know, this certainly uh, replaces something like that and uh, gives you the ability to expand on it as well. Great. And so you mentioned uh, expanding as well. So they have... Um these extenders, what they look like, little plug-and-plays. What do these do, those little bees? Yeah, they're, they're called the bees on this product. Um, and so they, uh, they, like you just said, you know, they extend that connectivity. So basically what happens is instead of this talking, um, well, it is, does talk directly to your mobile devices, mm -hmm. uh, but it can also talk to these. And then these can be plugged in anywhere out your home. And as long as these two pieces can talk to one another, then this kind of uh, acts as a, a broadcast or redistributes and gets the Wi-Fi closer uh, to wherever you are. So you can plug in you know, as many of these as you need to mm -hmm. kind of get uh, the coverage throughout your home. So if I have one, I'll say I plug it back in, in my shed out behind because yeah, I want to hide out and watch my Netflix in peace from my kids. Would, <laughs> would it connect? <laughs> yeah, uh, like I said, as long as these two pieces can see one another and there's a kind of an app that will show you if they're within range of one another. Um, but it's incredibly simple. You, you put this in, you connect this to your modem and you plug these in wherever you want and you push the little red button and uh, they join part of your mesh network. You're ready to go. So it's You're plug ready. and play. I could give this to my mother and she would be able to set it up. I would not have to go over and fix it for her. If you take it out of a box uh, and can plug it into the wall, that's about all you need to know. Fair enough, fair enough. Now, it is very simple, as mm -hmm. you've mentioned, but it also has a lot of great advanced features. It's, it packs a powerful technical punch. You mentioned the app. What can you do with that? Uh, so in addition to kind of being able to look at your network and making sure it's healthy, um, you can do speed tests some troubleshooting, but it has uh, some parental controls that are in there. It has the ability to um, you know, do port forwarding or some of the things that you would find, the more techie kind of things on, uh, on a standalone router. That functionality is in there as well. Right. Now, why did we cho choose to focus on Merku, this product that we have in front of us? Yeah. Why did you choose it? few reasons. Uh, one is it looks great. Um, <laughs> and it, it sounds uh, it sounds like it shouldn't matter, but what ends up happening in, in uh, not only in a standalone router where you kind of bury it and you don't want to see it, some mesh products, you know, kind of uh, resemble something like this where you might have, you know, one or two or three of those kind of spread across uh, your home. And while each one of those gives you a little bit better range, often people don't 
put them where they really need to be. So they're going to hide them underneath furniture or put them maybe in a room that doesn't have as much traffic. And so they're not really getting the advantage of mesh, which is putting the Wi-Fi broadcasters where you need them. Everywhere. Yeah, so one of the things that I love about this is just, you know, how um, unobtrusive this is. You can plug it in in your living room or your kid's room or the hallway. Um, I have actually one sitting in my hallway, and uh, you just don't even notice that it's there. Uh, so that's a, it's a big part of kind of getting the advantage of mesh by putting the, the uh, signal where you actually need it. Another big thing was really the simplicity. We wanted a product where people didn't really have to think about uh, the connectivity. The last thing people want to do is worry about, you know, channel frequencies and, you know, having to make sure you're not on the same frequency as your neighbor and, uh, you know, going in and like, making a lot of work to kind of get your mesh to talk to one another. Mm -hmm. So, you know, as I mentioned, you can take it out of the box and you plug a cable into it, uh, you push a red button, you know, on here, and that's all you need to do. So simplicity was a really big part. Uh, and the last piece is that uh, it was founded uh, in Waterloo. and so Oh, it's, wow, an Ontario company then. Yeah, absolutely. So it's nice to support local. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, with a great product, uh, we were able to get it for a really good price, uh, and it's really simple. So it's kind of win, win, win. Mm -hmm. It sounds like if I wanted to take my... Uh, streaming music outside to the backyard when it's a lot warmer out. <laughs> I could plug this in, I wouldn't have to call, eliminate a phone call to uh, our experts at Start, correct? Sure, and, and it's really about you know solving dead zone problems. That's really what Mesh is. You know, It kind of feels and sounds scary, this new name, but really the whole idea is it creates this mesh of connectivity. Um, you know, you've got your main unit, your base station, and you just plug these in wherever you need them, and they mesh together and provide the signal wherever you need. Um, so it's really handy, you know, if you find, you, know, you put it in one place and you find that, you know, it didn't give you the coverage that you wanted, you can just plug it into an outlet, you know, a little bit closer to where you're having problems with and, and get that coverage there. And we can add more as we see fit. Yeah, I forget what the maximum number is. It's crazy number. Uh, more than, you know, more people More need. than you should hopefully <laughs> <Yeah>. need. <laughs> uh, but I think each one of these, you know, is, is good for about 500 or, you know, maybe maybe up to 1,000 square feet. Uh, probably 500 is closer number. So you could add, you know, if you've got a really large house or you might have a house that's kind of spread out, um, you know, you can add these along the way um, to kind of get full coverage. And again, you know, it's really easy to kind of do after the fact. You know, you make your investment in, in something like this, which replaces something like that. Mm -hmm. And you find that maybe that's all you need. And later, if you mm -hmm. find out you move to a bigger house or you find a dead spot, um, you know, these are about 50 bucks each and they're pretty easy to add and, and get that coverage you need. And you will be able to purchase them now through us, correct? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we'll be having them, I think, by end of February. Uh, we should be ready uh, to make them available for our customers. Perfect. Now, it is available for purchase only now and uh, not for rent like some of our modems. Um, but in the future, maybe, maybe not. But for right now, it's uh, be, be available for us. Yeah, absolutely. Great. Well, thanks so much for clarifying this. So hopefully, this will solve a lot of our, our problems. If not, certainly give us a call um, and we'd be happy to explain. But where else can we find some more information? Yeah, um, we'll have a web page up that'll kind of talk a lot more about uh, this product in particular, but also a little bit about the advantages of mesh. Um, and, and like you said, give us a call. Our, our folks always love to talk about this kind of stuff and answer any questions that you have. Well, thanks again for uh, joining us today, Pete, in the in the yeah. hot seat. We'll join. We'll hopefully hear again from you soon, and we hope you join us again soon with the next episode of Start Talk. Follow along with all of our social media channels to find out more. Thanks, thanks. for watching.